Hello and very welcome to this tutorial. This is part one of three and uh, I'm gonna show you how we did 8-bit trip. A lot of you have asked, asked about that. So in this first episode I'm gonna show you uh, the importance of uh, correct lightning and the uh, setup with the camera and so on. So hang on if you want to see this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here we have uh, two different types of lightning. We have uh, fluorescent tubes and uh, a halogen lamp. And uh, this uh, fluorescent tubes is uh, high frequent and uh, it's a lot more expensive than uh, normal fluorescent, but uh, if you shall do animation, it's very important that you don't, don't use uh, normal fluorescent that you have, uh, like in the, like, like you used, uh, you can have a high frequent uh, fluorescent in the roof also, but uh, the normal thing is that you have a normal fluorescent. And why is it so? Yeah, I shall uh, explain it to you. So, I have um, uh, painted a little um, curb here, and it's uh, uh, the frequency of uh, the uh, electricity here in Europe, or at least in Sweden, we have uh, 50 hertz. Uh, so, uh, if we take a second and split it into 50 pieces, we get 150 fifth second and the uh, normal fluorescent they flicker with uh, this uh, curve like they what well, the uh, the light flicker with the same frequency as the electricity so if you have uh, the camera uh, with a shutter on uh, 100 second you might get the first picture, uh, just this piece, and this is uh, more uh, more light here, and the next one maybe be here, so it gets darker, and that's a problem. So that's why you shall use uh, high frequency uh, fluorescent. So how much light shall you have? How much light shall you use? I uh, say to you, uh, the more the better, and it might not be that, but uh, if you get a lot of lights, then you can have a lower ISO uh, on your camera and you get a better picture. So, uh, but what you shall uh, think of, if you use like uh, halogen lamps in one uh, scene and uh, fluorescent in another, the, uh, the, uh, uh, white balance might uh, be uh, the color temperature might be uh, a little different because this is used to be color um, color lights and uh, so that you uh, uh, white balance the camera uh, after you have changed lights mm. yeah Another thing that is important is that you is in a room which doesn't have any uh, windows or at least you uh, you cover the windows so you don't get any in any lights from outside because the lights from outside always change and uh, then you get uh, different lightning from uh, picture to picture and uh, it's important that you don't uh, uh, touch the uh, lamps and so because then uh, the uh, lightning will uh, shift from scene to scene also yeah yeah and this is a little about how to set up the camera uh, the most important thing thing I think it's to uh, turn off everything that can be on auto so for example uh, the motion stabilizer here be at off and uh, the focus should be at manual not out focus and if we check the uh, the menu you shall uh, try to find out everything that could be 
in uh, auto and turn that off, turn it to uh, manual. Like the, oh yeah, this is a Canon 7D and uh, I don't know what camera you use, but like for example this, auto lighting optimizer should be an off, that could be quite annoying in otherwise, and the white balance should be, could be whatever you like, but not auto white balance. And uh, the white balance shift is nothing you have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you understand. And why? Uh, yeah. So why why should you have everything to manual on the camera? Uh, it's because, and otherwise, the camera can uh, change the uh, settings from picture to picture. That's that's how it is. Yeah, and what about the uh, mounting of the camera? Well, uh, the most important thing is that you uh, have a tr uh, like some kind of tripod that is uh, stable and that you it's uh, like in some some way uh, is heavy or if you like uh, tape it into the floor or something that's so uh, like if you uh, animate for uh, like a whole week or so and uh, you don't want to move the camera uh, it's easy like if you like walk into it like that it moves but try to avoid that and uh, what I did I did my own tripod here which I put uh, plum bum weights uh, lead weights plum bum is Latin um, lead weights so uh, it's stable and uh, another thing is that you can uh, move the camera up and down here in easy way if you should do that with a tripod it's more hard to do that and another thing is that all the cables which goes from the camera to the computer uh, fast them like this with a knot or so. So, so if the, you uh, animal you have them on the floor, tape them so you don't uh, like uh, uh, fall when you walk on them. And the uh, this one can uh, like uh, jump out of the camera, and that is uh, not good at all. <laughs>